Hey everyone, it's Brian, your Honest Mechanic. Today we're looking into a common issue that can leave many car owners scratching their heads. The oil light coming on and off, even when the oil level is full. If you've experienced this puzzling problem, don't worry, you're not alone. Let's explore what could be causing this and what you should do about it. First off, it's important to understand that when your car's oil light comes on, it's not always a direct indication of low oil levels. In fact, when the oil level is full, the culprit is usually something else entirely. So what could be triggering that pesky light? One of the most common reasons is a faulty oil pressure sensor. This little device is responsible for monitoring the oil pressure in your engine. If it starts misbehaving, it might send false alarms causing the oil light to come on even when there's plenty of oil. It's like having a paranoid friend who keeps crying wolf. You don't know when to believe them. Another potential issue could be the quality of your oil. If you've been using the same oil for too long, or if you've accidentally used the wrong type of oil for your vehicle, it might not be circulating as well as it should. This can lead to low oil pressure, which in turn triggers the oil light. That's why it's crucial to use the correct grade of oil and to change it according to your manufacturer's recommended schedule. Think of it like maintaining a healthy diet for your car. You want to give it the good stuff. Now, let's talk about the oil pump. This hardworking component is responsible for circulating oil under pressure to keep your engine running smoothly. If the oil pump decides to take a vacation or starts underperforming, it can cause low oil pressure, even if there's enough oil in the system. Moving on, we have the oil filter. This filter works tirelessly to remove contaminants from your oil, keeping it clean and healthy. However, if the filter becomes clogged with debris, it can restrict the flow of oil, leading to low pressure and triggering the oil light. It's like trying to drink a milkshake through a clogged straw, not very effective. Lastly, there could be some internal engine issues at play. Over time, engine components can wear down, causing problems like worn bearings or clogged oil passages. These issues can lead to low oil pressure, even if you have plenty of oil. So. What should you do if your oil light keeps coming on and off, despite having a full oil level? First and foremost, don't ignore it. While it might not be a direct indication of low oil, it's still a sign that something isn't quite right. The best course of action is to roll up your sleeves and do some investigating yourself. Start by checking the oil pressure sensor. This little guy is usually located near the oil filter or on the engine block. With your car turned off, disconnect the sensor and give it a good visual inspection. If it looks damaged or covered in gunk, it might be time for a replacement. You can find a new sensor at your local auto parts store, and it's usually a straightforward install. If the sensor looks fine, move on to inspecting the oil quality. If it's been a while since your last oil change, or if you suspect you might have used the wrong type of oil, it's time for a refresh. Drain the old oil, replace the oil filter, and fill it up with the manufacturer recommended grade. This simple step can often solve the issue and keep your oil light from playing peekaboo. Next, take a look at the oil pump. This one's a bit trickier to access, but if you're feeling confident, you can remove it and check for any signs of wear or damage. If it looks like it's seen better days, a replacement might be in order. However, if you're not comfortable tackling this yourself, it's time to call in the pros. The same goes for the oil filter. If it's looking clogged or dirty, swap it out for a new one. It's a quick and easy job that can make a big difference in your oil circulation. Now, if you've checked all these components and the oil light is still playing games, it might be time to consider some internal engine issues. This is where things can get a bit more complex, and it's probably best to let a trusted mechanic take the reins. They have the tools and expertise to diagnose and fix any deeper problems that might be causing your oil pressure woes. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe.